Hey everyone, welcome back to Brownlow Books. I am going to be reviewing Hench by Natalie Zena Walshots, uh, Canadian author. This is a debut novel and was part of Canada Reads 2020. You know, that great year. So I'm going to give you just like a little intro to like what the story is. Um, Anna is part of a temp agency that finds and hires particularly skilled people to work as hench people for villains. So in this world we have like a villain superhero thing going on. So she gets hired by this kind of like minor league villain to do some like data entry shit and he's going to do a press conference about some bullshit thing he wants to do and he's like hey you come with us we're gonna show that we're like diversity hire kind of thing and uh <laughs> then the press conference gets interrupted by a superhero and Anna gets hurt and in her recovery she starts to calculate the lives lost as well as the damage cost like actual like physical money damage cost of superheroes yeah so in doing that she does end up drawing a lot of attention and things happen that's what I'm gonna leave it at that like I don't want to give away too much I just want to kind of give you the setup of like this world where you know superheroes and villains and supervillains exist and I will say it's just like so beautifully woven together the sort of like superness of the heroes and villains versus the like mundane life in the city like you know dingy apartments and you have to take the bus places and then like the inter-office politics of it all as well like someone microwaves fish in the office break room right and you're just like wow fuck that guy well it happens in this kind of world too so, um, this was a book club pick by one of my friends in our book club. Um, it was originally not on my radar from Canada Reads because I was just like, I'm so over the superhero stuff. Like, I'm marveled out. I'm over all of it. If that upsets you, grow the fuck up. <laughs> but then, like, it just turned out to be wonderful. Like, I love following like a villainous kind of person like she's obviously not a villain because she's just like doing the doing the shit for the villains <laughs> but like it's delightful I was so delighted by this book like it is so th well thought out and detailed and she's so angry and like that's why she's doing this and it's just like spot on perfect like yes I like I cannot believe that this is a debut novel I honestly can't um one of my favorite tiny things about it is Anna our protagonist she's kind of horny for everyone <laughs> which is like a little thing that we kind of picked up on our book club it's like damn who doesn't she want to like <laughs> It was just, it's, it brings kind of, it just, it's fun. It brings a funness to the book that, like, these are just regular people who just happen to work for a villain. Like, it's just fun like that. So, like, it is a fun book. It is a worthwhile book to read. I watched some interviews about this and, like, the defending of it in Canada Reads 2020. And it is a genre fiction. And I was like, the fuck? That just means popular fiction. And they were saying that, like, this is the first time that a genre fiction has ended up in Canada Reads because, you know, they consider genre fiction to not be a worthwhile endeavor. Which really pissed me off. Entirely honest, pissed me, pissed me off. I was like, how can you say a book is not fucking worthwhile because of the genre it is? Like, such elitist garbage. So, like, oh my god, I forget the actor's name from Kim Con Kim's Convenience was the person defending it. 
and like he brought that up and they're just kind of like both scoffed at the fact that like people think one kind of fiction is worth more than another so it didn't win you know but it is you know top four top six I forget how many numbers they do <laughs> but yeah I really enjoyed it like who says reading can't be fun this was fun to read and like what what like what is the purpose of reading to enjoy what the fuck you're reading and I enjoyed this so like good fucking job you know <laughs> So yes, I ended up giving it four stars on Goodreads. I would give it 4.5. Not a thing you can do, right? Whatever. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> if you're looking for a good Canadian author, if you're looking for something that's got that superhero villain, like, punchy comic book kind of vibe to it, but like, an actual written story, like, this is your fucking book to go to. Like, I... I really, like, the more I think about this, I'm like, why didn't I give it five stars? And then I remember why I didn't give it five stars, and I'm like, yeah, 4.5 is the perfect place for this for me. But seriously, that's still a love in my book. My books. Ha. No. Um, <laughs> seriously, give it a go if that's your kind of thing. It's a fun read. I enjoyed it a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe.